guess what? We got another episode of Cooking with Jolly, okay? So today we try to do a little fancy, fancy, little, little side dinner, and you know, I got the the shrimp. You know, about to cook the shrimp. I got some asparagus up in here, okay? Now, y'all, I was trying to save some time. But your girl got the Idaho and potatoes, okay? You know, when you're trying to save some time, you ain't got time to cook no real potatoes, okay? This is all about saving time, boo, okay? Okay. So, your girl already, because, you know, sometimes meat takes a little while to process and everything, you know, long process, because you got to tenderize it, you got to rinse it and all that, so... I already rinsed the meat and I already tenderized these bad boys. They thawed out and everything as, as well as the shrimp. The shrimp is already tailed, clean, rinsed, all that, okay? I did all that, oh God. All of that. So, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to start off doing is seasoning the meat. Then I'm going to take you on the process of how I cook my pork loins. You know, got the pork loins here. These bad boys. Okay. So, like I said, I already tenderized them. So, I'm going to start, you know, dibbling, dabbling with the seasonings on this bad boy. I got some paprika. You know the girl pap. I'm going to sprinkle. Sprink, sprink, sprinkle. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I like to rub my stuff in, okay? I like to rub them in, and I like to get uh, both sides. Because, you know, I think you need a little seasoning on both sides if you get what I mean, y'all. Got to show both sides some love, you know? Got to rub it and massage it in, all that good stuff, okay? So I'm going to put my girl pap up. Now, what did I tell y'all <laughs> about the Creole? Oh, okay. God. What did I tell y'all about the Creole? Yeah, girl. Uses the Creole seasoning on everything. Okay. Now you got to drizzle some of this on that bad boy. You got to get a little drizz, drizz. You know? You got to hit the little drizz, drizz with them. Now massage it in. Massage that bad boy in there. Okay, now I'ma flip it, flip. Flip it, flip, flip. And then I'ma drizz out some more. Okay. Massage that in there. Seasoning never hurt nobody, okay? All right, y'all. Now, we got the old bay. The old bay, boo. The old bay. This right here, I must say, is probably one of my favorite seasonings, y'all. The old bay. Now, I'm gonna massage that bad boy up in there. Get that nice and wet. And yes, y'all, I will clean my seasonings off after I'm done cooking, you know. Cause they're getting a little dirty. I clean them off, you know. Make sure they're nice and clean before I put them back in the cupboard. Then, like I said, you gotta get the other side now. Alright, now. Here I go with the onion powder. The onion powder, you know that flavor, boy. Y'all always know. When you're getting the onion powder, okay, we gon' drizzle, drizz, hit a little drizz, drizz on that bad boy there. These babies is thick too, boy. I'm excited about these bad boys here. Excited about them. And then I'm a drizz, 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 and a drizz. All right, now y'all, we got the garlic, the garlic. Yes, y'all. So, most of the seasonings I use with my food, I use with everything, okay? 
you just know when you got a good routine going and you just keep it going you know you just know when you got a good routine going with your food and the seasonings you use and you just keep it going it is what it is y'all i like my food seasoned very well i don't know you know you can't do the bland bland <laughs> and then this is a new one that y'all ain't seen yet we got the barbecue 3000 okay this give it a little bit of that barbecue taste okay so i'm gonna sprinkle this bad boy on them okay Ooh, look at that look at that look at that i got to sprinkle this bad boy on it You gotta let all these seasonings, boy, combine together, mix them together, massage it in there. Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. You know, when you're putting the seasonings on it and you can already just smell the goodness. Whoo, y'all. <laughs> I smell the goodness. I smell the goodness. These, these poor child, these whatever they are, poor child, poor loins. Hey, it's all the same thing to me. They about to be good. Mm, mm, mm. All right, last but not least, we gotta add the seasonings. Out. You know, you gotta add the seasonings out to everything. But okay, we gonna drizzle, drizzle some of this on there. Ooh, excuse my shirt, y'all. I got some of the seasonings on my shirt, but that's all right. You get dirty in the kitchen sometimes. It happens. I ain't mad about it, boo. It happens. That's how you know you was working in the kitchen when you get mess on your clothes, okay? That's how you know. If you ain't getting messy when you're cooking, you ain't cooking. Facts. So, that is done. So now, I'm going to just go ahead and knock out the shrimp, okay? With the shrimp. So, you know, you got to make sure it's open because, you know, sometimes it don't be open. I'm going to stick a little hole in it. Get it open. Huh? That's how you know it's open. So, I'm going to pour some of that lemon juice up in there. Ooh. Squeeze it, squeeze it. That lemon squeeze it, baby. Is that piece of lemon squeeze it? Right. Go ahead and get that going. Then you girl going to go with, go ahead on with the garlic. And then we going to drizzle that onion in there. And then we got the seasoning salt, you know. Got to get the seasoning. Then we got the Kriya. Okay, got the Kriya. The Obey. Alright. And the Paprika. I'm going to mix all that together. Mix it all together, y'all. No, my little drop lid. You know, sometimes they fall out the pan. All right, you want to massage them bad boys, okay? Who let it hit? Let it hit. So, you know, the one thing that I forgot that I'll be right back with is my Italian seasoning. You can't forget the Italian. So here I am with the Italian season. Now this has all the herbs in it. You know, the basil, the parsley, all that good stuff up in it. The rosemary, the thyme, the oregano. I'm about to drizzle that on the shrimp. <laughs> Let it drizzle, drizzle. All right. Now, we in there. So now what I do is... Now, like I said in the last video, <laughs> yeah, girl, uses butter, okay? If you ain't using butter, your food ain't good. I'm sorry. I don't know what you are. You be the vegetarian, vegan, so hey, we eat meat up in this house. We use the butt. So I'm going to squash it up, squash it up. All right, then I'm going to just go ahead, mix that bad boy in there. Ooh. 
Ooh, boy, that shrimp is smelling good, y'all. You know, when you're cooking the food and the food already smells so good to you, you know, once you get it out the oven, this food about to be fire. All right, y'all. All right, so that's it for the meat. I'm gonna rinse my hands one more time and then I'm gonna get the meat cooking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer my shrimp from this bowl into this pan and I have the oven heated to 350. Yep, I gotta heat it to 350 so the shrimp is ready to get in there and get the cooking, okay? So you just gonna take these babies out and you just gonna go ahead on and lay them on there, okay? Lay them bad boys on there. All right, spread the butter out. You know, now the butter got that seasoning on it. So when the butter melts, it's about to be bomb. So now what we gonna do is we gonna take this and we gonna stick it in the oven, okay? All right, all right. So if you see me right here, you see your girl got some butter heating up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook the pork loin for a little bit, you know? On the on the stove, okay. Cook them on the stove for a little bit on the bottom and on the top. And then after I let them cook on the bottom and the top, your girl gonna put them in the oven, okay. So all right. I know a lot of people got their own thing that they do. A lot of them boil the water first and then put the potatoes in there. But I like to boil my water in the tea kettle, okay? So I'm going to get that tea kettle going. Okay, I'm going to get that bad boy going. Okay, get it going, get it going. Right, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the pork loin. Flip that bad boy over. See that? See that right there? Do y'all see that? I just want to get it nice and, you know, get some color to it. I'm going to get some color to it before I stick it in the oven. Let it get some color color. Okay, get the color. Ooh. Yes, you see that nice color on there? That's all you need. All right, so I got two on here now. But let them get a little sizzle, sizzle. And then I'll put the other two on later. And then I'll stick these bad boys in the oven. Now, now what we got, we got to worry about the asparagus, okay? So, with the asparagus, you gotta clip some of the ends off. You gotta rinse them first, so y'all. Anytime you get a vegetable from the store, y'all, you automatically gotta rinse it. I don't care if it says it's been rinsed or not. Rinse that bad boy, okay? Oh, they already falling apart, baby. Rinse them bad boys. All right, so I didn't rinse them. I'm about to bring them back over to the table. All right. So what your girl's going to do is she going to chop the ends, okay? I start off by chopping a little bit at a time, okay, y'all? Alright. Then I get into the, to the chopping a little bit more. Off. So I'm going to gather them all up. And then I'm going to chop them bad boys off. That's good. 
that's good. Chop a little bit more than bad boys on. That's good. All right. So. Oh, that one got. Ooh, yeah, that color looking good on that bad boy. Okay. That's looking good on that bad boy. Okay. Nice and crisp looking right so now what your girl gonna do is she gonna come over here put these bad boys on the pan and get them ready for the oven get them ready for the oven okay all right the pan boo okay so, I'm going to take my lemon. You know, asparagus and lemon go well together, okay? That's just a given. You can't have asparagus without the lemon juice. Alright. So, usually what I add on my asparagus is some garlic powder. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, some onion powder. And a little bit of the spar. I'm getting little boy. You not getting little drizzle, drizzle. All right. Drizzle all of that together. All right. Now I'm going to chop, you know, mash up some butter. Put that in there. Yeah, when I cook it, don't die. It, it ain't neat, okay? If it's neat, you ain't doing it right, okay? Cooking is art. Okay? I see art as abstract. So my art is a little bit of everything everywhere, okay? Got the last one on here. You know, it's looking so good. It make you want to want to slap your mama. <laughs> The rest of the cheese to your boy John with a spoon, okay? That was my boy Pops from Friday. Whoo, he will be missed, y'all. But these poor chops is gonna do him some justice. He gonna be talking about him to slap your mama. <laughs> now, hey, I can't let nobody slap my mama. Now, you slap my mama, I'm gonna have to slap your back, okay? Look, uh-uh. <laughs> we don't do that. Uh-oh. Y'all hear that? That's the tea kettle. So that means that the water for the potatoes is done. So I'm going to go ahead and bust that open. Pour that in the mashed potatoes. And then I'm going to stir them bad boys. Start stirring. Start stirring. You gotta stir, stir, and stir, okay? I'm gonna pour and stir. So there go the pour. You're not getting the wall. Is it? Woo! Look at them bad boys there. Mm, mm, mm. Right, you gotta keep adding water to them bad boys. Yes, stir. And your pork. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm going to flip my pork loin here. Woo! Yes, baby. Yes, it got that nice char on it. Alright, I'm going to stir. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all yeah, make sure you stir it good, y'all. Y'all don't want one of them, uh, them flakes in there, them dry flakes, okay? Now, I like my mashed potatoes. I don't like them, you know, um, too hard, too rough. I like mine soft and fluffy, okay? So, you can add the water until you get the consistency that you want. So, here I go, here I go, here I go. 
I'm stirring and I'm stirring till they come all four. Hey. Y'all know I try to be a rapper, so nah, you know, that ain't my thing, you know. But, but, one day, maybe I'll dibble dabble in it. For now, I keep practicing my craft, you know. But you gotta stir some. And then you gotta add the water. That's how it goes. Stir and add. Stir and add. Oh boy. Them bad boys is looking good. It's looking good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this last one to the pan over here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick these bad boys in the oven. All right. Add a little bit more wah wah to the mashy mash. Ooh, yes, la, yes. You mashed potato, boy. They gonna be good. Good, man, boy. Mm, mm, mm. Add that little last dripple drop. That last little dripple drop. Yes. There we go, y'all. There we go. The mashed potatoes is done, y'all. All right. So now, what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna go ahead, rinse my hands off. You know, gotta get a little rinse, rinse. And then we gonna come over here, and we gonna wash. Some butter. They already got butter in them, but we gonna add some more. Okay. Like I said, butter is the key to good food. Now I don't know if y'all believe that or not, but uh, I do. Butter is key to some good hearty food. Okay. Y'all to make sure you got the butter. The butter. The butter. <laughs> What's my girl from the cooking channel? I forgot what her name is. Paula Dean. But she always used to say, butter is the key to the heart. When you cook with butter, you know your food gonna be good, okay? I used to watch her all the time. Mm-hmm. Now that butter make your food good. Now we gonna let that sit. All right. All right, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? I'm back, back, back with the fitted product. You know, I got the mashed potatoes, the asparagus, and the pork loin with the shrimp on top with some of the sauce from the shrimp. The rizzle drizz, you know? So, first things first, yeah, girl, gonna bite into this pork loin. Okay. Look at that bad boy cooked all the way through. It still look like it got some juice to it. Oh, mm, mm, mm. make it want to suck your mama for real, for real. Mm, mm, mm. Now I'm gonna drizzle in there. I'm dibble dibble in the mashed potato. Mm, mm. That extra butter, I'm telling you. Bomb. And last but not least, the asparagus. How these bad boys say, you know, the asparagus is always a good side dish. Mmm. Y'all, this, ooh, I forgot the shrimp. <laughs> oh, forgot. Now, let's try some shrimp. Y'all, y'all need to cook this for your men, okay? Cook it for your man, okay? It's good right here. So, with that being said, your girl gonna end it all. You know, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Um, comment down below what you would like me to cook next time because I'm also taking suggestions as well. Let me know. Alright, I'm out of here. Peace.